Well, hello everyone. As you can obviously tell from uh, the screen that's sitting over my right shoulder this way, that uh, I'm going to be doing a reaction video today to Katrina Velarde. Imagine that. Um, <laughs> I thought it was time to switch it back up again, and uh, this one caught my attention because I I've seen her do uh, this particular song, "Igal uh, on the Hot Sakin." I saw her do it in her live sessions, her private live sessions. Uh, I believe she does them either at her house or at the uh, recording studio. I'm not sure where. Um, and it really impressed me. So I thought I would go ahead and see how she does on stage with this particular uh, song. Um, this is one that Regine Velasquez made famous, um, as far as I know. I could be wrong on that. And uh, Katrina, of course, is uh, doing her cover version of this, and she's doing it live on stage. So um, I thought I would go ahead and uh, do a reaction video to this one for you today. I have not heard it or seen it, this particular iteration we're about to view. Um, so this will be new to me as well. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. And thank you again for spending a bit of time out of your day here on this channel, the John and Tucson channel, if you will. Hope everyone's having a great day otherwise, and uh, let's get this going, shall we? Here we go. All right.
little stuff. <laughs> See what happens when I don't use my glasses? Obviously bad things. All right, turn that part off. All right, there we go. That, as always, was Katrina Velarde singing live on stage and doing a tremendous job. As always, she took a song that Regine Velasquez, again, I may be wrong on who made it popular first. Um, obviously, it was not Katrina. But I've heard Regine singing this before, and I've heard Katrina sing this song once before on her live sessions, like I was uh, talking about before I played the video. And <clears throat> Katrina owns this song. She made it her own, um, added her own nuances and her own licks to it. And the nice thing was uh, the ending of the song where Regine will go ahead and gild the lily, if you will, uh, by hitting a note way, way, way up there. It doesn't always sound good when it's done, you know? And I think Regine figured that out after a few performances of that. But Katrina still gets it up there, but she doesn't gild the lily, and it just sounds so good, so clean, so pure. Uh, you can hear her breath control, and she'll just hold out a phrase so long in one breath. And when you think she's all done, you know, she keeps holding it, and she'll switch to a different note, and she'll cut it off and start a new phrase, or continue the phrase with a new breath, if you will. She's so good. She has such facility with her voice, and is so fluid. Man. Again, the Filipino singers... All of them, male or female, especially the females, though. They've just got an amazing ability with their, their breathing techniques to hold out notes for as long as they can. They're able to go from holding out a note that's a very, very high note with a lot of power behind it, a lot of volume, if you will, and then bring it down to almost nothing and continue to still hold it out unwaveringly. That's difficult to do. Uh, going from a very loud outburst in your singing to a very controlled, um, you know, ending of, of the word or the verse or the phrase, whatever it is that you're singing. Uh, they all seem to be able to do it. I'm just, I'm thrilled to hear it. Always thrilled to hear it. Because as a, you know, as a former singer myself, I know how difficult it is to do that. I never had that kind of control. Even after years of training, I never had that kind of control. You know, I was a passable singer, but nothing like, you know, the professionals like Katrina, Morris Edamon, Regine Velasquez, uh, et al. All of them. They're so good. But anyway, guys, uh, I'll wrap this one up for today. And uh, as always, I hope you're having a terrific day wherever you are on the planet. Love yourself, number one. Love others unconditionally. And go put a bounce in somebody's step today. You may know them or you may not. It doesn't matter. Leave someone feeling better than when you initially crossed their path. Guess what? They'll probably pass it on and it will continue to unfold from there in other people's lives. It's a terrific thing to do and it doesn't cost you anything. Just a smile and a wave it can be that simple. All right, guys. Uh, as always, thank you for spending time here with me. Like, subscribe, and share. And uh, if you do like the content and you'd like to hear more like this, by all means, leave me your comments. And if you've got a link to something you'd like me to take a look at and possibly do a reaction video to, leave it in your comments. I'll be more than happy to follow up on that. Just as a very good, I will use it as well. Uh, also, I will leave the link to the video that we used in my description. Go show them some love. Obviously, it was recorded by a fan in the audience, and that is deeply appreciated by all of us other fans out here. All right, guys, go to it. Have a great day, and uh, we'll see you very, very soon, I promise. Take care now.